the air is most temperate and wholesome, situated in the midst of the temperate zone. For water, it is walled and guarded with the ocean, most commodious for traffic to all parts of the world. The earth fertile with all kinds of grain, manured with good husbandry. Rich in mineral of coals, tin, lead, copper, not without gold and silver. Abundant with pasture, replenished with cattle, both tame and wild, plentifully wooded. Beautified with many populous cities, fair boroughs, good towns, and well-built villages. Methinks I see in my mind a mighty and puissant nation rousing herself like a strong man after sleep and shaking her invincible locks. Methinks I see her as an eagle mewing her mighty youth, kindling her undazzled eyes at the full midday beam, purging and unscaling her long-abused sight at the fountain itself of heavenly radiance. While the whole noise of timorous and flocking birds, with those also that love the twilight, flutter about, amazed at what she means, and in their envious gabble would prognosticate a year of Bring me my bow of burning gold. Bring me my arrows of desire. Bring me my spear. O oh, clouds unfold. Bring me my chariot of I will not cease from mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand, till we have built Jerusalem in England's green and pleasant land. Nobly, nobly, Cape St. Vincent, to the northwest died away. Sunset ran, one glorious blood red, reeking into Cady's Bay. Bluish mid the burning water, full in face, Trafalgar lay. In the dimmest northeast distance, dawned Gibraltar, grand and grey. Here and here did England help me. How can I help England? Say, whoso turns as I this evening, turn to God to praise and pray, while Jove's planet rises yonder, silent over Africa. It was not part of their blood. It came to them very late, with long arrears to make good, when the English began to hate. It was not suddenly bred. It will not swiftly abate through the chill years ahead, when time shall count from the date when the English began to hate. We shall go on to the end. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. 
we shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And even if this island were subjugated and starving, then our empire beyond the seas, armed and guarded by the British fleet, would carry on the struggle until, in God's good time, the new world, with all its power and might, steps forth to the rescue and liberation of the old. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work they have thus far so nobly advanced. That we here highly resolve that the dead shall not have died in vain. That the nation shall, under God, have a new birth of freedom. And that the government of the people by the people and for the people shall not perish from the earth.